welcome to new body I am Latrivia if you are new to my channel welcome don't forget to like share comment and subscribe if you are a regular subscriber or follower of mine thank you for coming back and joining me and supporting me thank you for your love and light so let's get started I'm doing a general reading for the collective audience so this is not a personal reading Take what applies and let the rest fly. If it don't apply, let it fly. So I'm going to uh, fire up my Palo Santo before we get started so I can clear the energy. And while I do so, oh, sorry, it was, thought someone was at the door. I apologize. Um, yeah, just let you know my disclaimers. Um, first and foremost, I am a holistic health practitioner, but I um, do not prescribe, diagnose, proclaim to cure, okay, or heal anyone. Um, we're all healing vessels. So if you have any of the messages that flow through me that deal with any health and wellness um, issues, it's the energy that surrounds that health and wellness issue, be sure to check with your uh, licensed medical professionals. The same goes for any um, crime-related messages that come through. Um, if you feel that resonates with you, be sure to check with your local police department you legal people all right let's get to it so let's try the kipper today continue my flow with the uh what's the tea kind of day get some messages see what situation uh, i'll do uh five cards and three Clarifiers? Two clarifiers. So we have distant horizon. So something could be, oh, it's in the reverse. No, it's not. I can't see nothing. Yeah, we have distant horizon. So something could be happening uh, in the not too far future, in the near future. It's card number 36. Someone could be 36. Someone could be born in 1963. Three and six is nine. So there's some changes coming about. I see great fortune and I see expectation. If it comes out again, then we know to uh, drop it. So I see adjudication in the reverse. Card number 30, someone could be 30. Three is about growth. 30 reduces to three. You have marriage in the reverse. Someone could be getting a divorce. It's also number three, growth. You have occupation in the reverse. Someone could have lost a job. Um, if someone was self-employed, they are no longer self-employed. And you have expectation back. Okay, so let me get some clarification on this distant horizon. So wealthy man in the reverse. So in the distant horizon, there will be a man who was once wealthy who may lose his wealth. You have poverty in the reverse though. So maybe he will lose money, but not enough for him to be in poverty. Let me get something on this uh, adjudication. No, we're doing one more on the distant horizon. So distant uh, for distant horizon, another clarifier is a uh, concern in reverse. So again, what I stated was that in the not too distant future, you have a wealthy man who's in the reverse who, you know, he could have lost a business. He could have been uh, 
lost some money in some way, but not enough to cause him to be in poverty. He doesn't show any concern about that, though. He could probably make it back. Wealthy people usually do. They use, usually uh, tend to lose money in bad investments. Invest in wrong things. Gambled the wrong on the wrong person. But he's not concerned. He's going to get it back. Adjudication. So we have toil and labor. Could be something about someone else's job. Court situation regarding some work someone did or someone was working hard at something. Maybe it had to go to court. We'll see. You have courtship. Courtship's in reverse. So there could have been a situation where someone was trying to work on a uh, relationship and had to go to court about it. Maybe it did not go in their favor. Yeah, this didn't go in the favor of someone who was working hard towards this relationship. What else? We have gift in reverse. So if someone was to receive a gift regarding this courtship or through a courtship, they're not going to get it. Didn't go in their favor in court. Oh, I'm looking all sloppy. All right, come on, fix yourself. Wrong side. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hold on. There we go. All right, so yeah. So if someone had to go to court regarding a uh, relationship that they were working hard towards, um, sometimes uh, when people marry, they get like a dowry. If that's a gift or... Um, you know, the gift could be like alimony, child support, that kind of thing. They're not going to get it. Marriage in reverse. Got main male. So the main male is, uh, you know, he's usually like an upstanding citizen, upstanding person. Uh, his marriage is in reverse. He's in reverse. Um, marriage is over. He's not happy about it. He could be, um, could be a cheater, liar. He's in the reverse. What else we have? We have courthouse in the reverse. So again, in this marriage, could be a divorce. Marriage in reverse, male, male in reverse. Courthouse in reverse. Definitely can see the, uh, you know, marriage not going, the divorce not going in his favor in terms of um, maybe having to come up off some money. We have despair. He may not be in despair about it. He may be happy that the marriage is over. He's not in despair about it. He's happy that the marriage is over. You get the energy of um, I, I keep hearing freedom. Like in this marriage, it it wasn't. Uh, it was like stressful. It was like um, you know they say the old ball and chain. Like in this. The energy that I'm getting from this marriage of this person not being in despair was like, good, it's over. You know, I can move on to something else, someone else. What is this? 
Occupation in reverse. Someone lost a job. Let's get some more information. A message in reverse. So the message could be um, not received. Maybe there was a message that was supposed to re be received that caused someone to lose their job. Bad health. If someone was in bad health, they're not anymore. A lot of these are in reverse. And y'all see me shuffling. If I don't do nothing else, I am shuffling. Let's get some more. Sudden wealth. Someone was receiving southern, southern wealth. Someone who's not in bad health, who probably didn't receive a message about an occupation. So someone who's not in uh, bad health probably was supposed to receive a message about a job offer or about something regarding their work and they didn't receive it and didn't get the job. But they're about to get the sudden wealth now. You have number 11 on the card, on deck. Justice. Expectation. Thief. So if someone stole something, they either return it or they didn't get to steal it. They were expecting to steal something and they didn't get it. Expectation. So if someone was, was the privileged lady, they're not anymore. They could be this thief that was expecting to get something. They didn't get it. So this privileged lady in reverse is probably the thief. She probably stole something and was expecting to get it. To get whatever she was trying to steal. She didn't get to steal it. Shame on her. Woo. One more. We'll get one more and go to a different deck. Get another message. Get other messages. Journey. I feel like this privileged lady in reverse was expecting to steal something. She didn't get it. And now she's forced to move on. This journey. She's got some bags packed. Yeah, she's, uh, 10 on the deck, 10 of cycles completed, completion, ultimate completion, something has ended. So her journey, her journey with whatever she was trying to steal is over. Let's get some more messages. Let's do the Zodiac. How are we doing for time? All right, 1351. Doing well. Hoping everyone is doing well on this uh, happy hump day. Made it through most of the week. All right. I could have gotten the get the tarot out first. Yeah, we can get the tarot out. Tarot give us a little bit more clarification. Maybe some people, places, and things. Way too many. 
All right, let's try this again. That's not even the same deck. But I do see four of wands at the bottom in reverse. Personal celebration, some harmony. Because probably that's somebody who got that gift. Who got the sudden well. They're about to celebrate. This thief in reverse is not celebrating though. This this privileged lady in reverse. She's not celebrating. You have Seven of Swords in reverse. Seven of Swords talks about a confession. Talks about somebody in regret. Talks about somebody trying to turn over a new leaf. Could be this thief. This privileged lady in reverse. You have the Eight of Wands. You got Aquarius energy, Sagittarius energy. So something's moving fast. Something is changing suddenly for someone. Could be something that, uh, excuse me, this person that's in regret, something could be moving quite swiftly for them. What could that be? Queen of Swords in reverse. Queen of Swords is in regret. Something's moving quickly for her. She did something that she regrets. It says getting caught. She got caught doing something. Maybe there is a uh, swift judgment on her. Some quick decisions made though. Queen of Swords in reverse is deceitful. Emotional, cold and bitter, cold-hearted, bitter woman. Get the King of Wands and the Moon card. King of Wands is the natural leader. He's looking at this Queen of Swords in reverse. She probably did something. The Moon is about using your intuition. It's also about secrets. Using your intuition to see what's hidden. Maybe this King of Wands found out something that this Queen of Swords in reverse did. That has her regretting her actions. King of Wands is a natural leader, visionary. He's an entrepreneur. Mature man. Career focused. Maybe this Queen of Swords did something to him and he found out. He used his intuition. You have judgment. I think this Queen of Swords is being judged. Queen of Swords in re reverse. You have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. About to be a change. This judgment is going to bring about change. Someone's asking for forgiveness. Perhaps this Queen of Swords uh, wants to come clean about something. Ask for forgiveness. I don't think. I feel like the energy. Uh, Of a fake apology because this king of wands used his intuition and found out that this, something was done behind his back. This queen of swords in reverse is only apologizing because she got caught. And there's about to be a judgment on her head. What else? So we have three of swords in reverse. Someone's definitely asking for forgiveness. We have the temperance energy. Trying to get some harmony in the situation. Per this uh, patience needed. 
think the judgment will bring harmony to this king of wands. So that he can move on. Oh, snap. How are we doing for time? Nope, you got good time. I think this Queen of Wands is um what is uh in spiritual jail. She's experiencing a loss. Could be this King of Wands experiencing a loss though. That could be the uh what was hidden that he found out. Uh, you have in the top row is the feminine energy who was a thief. She could be this queen of swords in reverse. Let's get a few more messages before we close out. You have the sun. Sun card is always about illumination. Shining bright on the situation. It's a happy card. Celebration is success coming. Probably with this judgment. Bringing harmony to the situation with this temperance energy. Got fire energy, fire sign energy. Got air energy and Libra. Got Scorpio energy. I'm sorry, Sagittarius energy. I can't read. The Hermit. So someone's going within. Soul searching. Retrospection. Earth energy, Virgo. You have two of swords. So did this, there's a decision that needs to be made. Perhaps this king of wands is going within. So that he can move on, recover. Hermit is about seeking truth and justice as well. You have the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Knight of Swords is Gemini energy, Aquarius, Libra. There needs to be some fast uh, thinking action. Maybe this King of Wands is going in hermit mode to uh, think about what he, he needs to do, what his next steps are. You have Knight of Cups in reverse. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Someone's jealous. You only have two people on deck. Queen of Swords in reverse and the Knight of Wands. You have the Temperance. Temperance energy. This King of Wands feels like he can't trust this Queen of Swords anymore. He's disappointed. Feeling like he has to defend himself and his beliefs. Which is why he's going into Hermit mode. He's going to take action with this judgment. Judgment has been called. All right, let's get a few more messages so we can uh, close out of this message. So you have the Nine of Swords in reverse. And you have the Tower card. Change is coming with this Tower card. Massive upheaval. Awakening for some. I think this, this Queen of Swords with this Judgment... Queen of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Swords in reverse. She's going through some inner turmoil. She's feeling uh, fearful at the moment. She doesn't know what this judgment's going to bring her. 
But it's definitely going to bring about a tower. All right, let me close out this message. We could bring it home with uh, spellcasters and then an angel message. Let's get two cards. Two cards it is. So you have love in reverse and you have clarity. I feel the energy that, um, you know, there's no more love in this relationship between the King of Wands and the Queens of Swords in, in reverse. You know, um, when somebody betrays you in any kind of way, um, it's hard to, you know, the trust, of course, is gone, but um, the love. You also have clarity, okay? Clarity could have brought about you know, what the relationship was really about for this uh, King of Wands. You know, perhaps he's going into the hermit mode to get clarity about, you know, his next moves. Was it really love? Will he love again? You know, all kinds of thoughts going through his head. You know? Only way to get clarity is to go within. Go into the hermit mode. All right. Let's get uh, angel number. Got a four out. Four again. So four one one. What's the four one one, babe? Let's see. Four one one says important relationships. See the value in those you love. This number calls you. To select one relationship close to you and nurture it in an attentive and loving way. Tell a loved one how much you care for them, appreciate them, and see them how you see them in their, your life. Make time for them as you communicate how important they are. Alright? So, clarity. Let someone know how you feel before it's too late. Or before something has to end. That is your message. And I hope you enjoyed the reading today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.